Here's a fun low flow trick that involves a shoulder mount somersault. Um, for this trick, you definitely want to be solid in your shoulder mount. Uh, don't be deceived by the fact that it's low. It still uses the same muscles as a shoulder mount. I would say in some ways it almost takes more strength than trying to kick up into a shoulder mount because you want to be able to control it down. Um, but at the same time, the nice thing about this one is you can do it nice and low and you can always put a mat on the other side to catch you if you're still kind of working on um, your shoulder mounts and strengthening them. So for this one, to get into this move to start, I want to think about lining myself up with the pole so it's at my center line. Then when I'm ready to go into it, I want to bring, if I'm going to be going to my right shoulder, I'm going to come around so the pole goes to my left. So I want to move to my right. So starting from center, think arm up, around, and back. And I want to squish myself into the pole, okay? The hand that is on the inside, closest to the pole, I want to keep it nice and high. I think a lot of people think about diving both hands down. The problem is, is then your hands aren't doing anything until you get all the way out into the shoulder roll. Depending on your flexibility, that might or might not be a problem. But you want to actually keep this inside hand nice and high because it's going to help push you over. Okay? So from my center line, up and around, and fold forward. Okay? So you can see my bottom, my outside hand slides down, and then it's going to turn to a cup, and it's going to pull the pole towards my right shoulder. You can see my hands are really far apart initially. Um, which for a lot of people that seems like that's not right for the shoulder mount, but I need this inside hand to push initially to bring me through, okay? If I drop it down right next to the other one, I'm gonna have a really hard time getting my legs off the ground, okay? So first thing is center, second circle, third hand position, outside hand slides down, both hands are going to a cup, inside hand stays nice and high. Inside hand initially is pushing, Okay, so once you've gotten all that, the same leg as the inside hand is gonna come up first. So as much as it might look like I'm going in a straight line, I'm kind of doing almost like a semicircle or a diagonal-ish shape. It's not a perfectly straight line. I have to go around the pole, okay? So if we look at it from the side, I'm gonna go up and around. I'm gonna drop down, place the pole towards my shoulder and fold in inside leg is going to come up so that I can fold and then my top hand slides down closer to my other hand. Okay. So if you go up on your tippy toes, that's going to help because it's going to get your, your uh, hips up higher. Granted, yes, this is one where flexibility wise, the more you can bring that leg up, the easier it's going to be, but that doesn't mean that's not doable if you're not flexible. Um, I have a pretty good split, and so I oftentimes tend to cheat with it. But if you do not have as good of a split, you just need to push more with that top hand, okay? So don't worry about if you don't have a split. You can go into this with any shape, okay? So if I was to come around, I can come around here too, okay? So it doesn't have to be a split coming through. Just think of it as a forward somersault, okay? So let's go over checkpoints. Starting from center, legs out into a little bit of a straddle. Wrap your torso around and back, inside hand high in a cup, outside hand slides down into a cup. It's gonna place to your shoulder as you fold, leg comes over into your shoulder mount. And then finishing whatever position you wanna go into. You can go into a split, you can land in a sit, you can go into a planche, whatever your personal preference is. Okay, so play around with this one, try it out. Um, if you want to add in a backward shoulder roll, you can always do that as well, but just kind of a fun way to take it down to the floor. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those below. Um, if you have any requests for future tutorials, I'd love to hear those too. Please feel free to leave those below as well. And most definitely, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so, so that you can find fun new tutorials and especially any of your requests coming up in the weeks to come. Thank you so much for watching.